So we are less than one month away from having probably the biggest return in strongman in God knows how many years. Yes. In less than one month, we'll see Haftor Julius Bjornsson at the Arnold Strongman Classic for a ninth time. Yeah. Three time champion. Three it's times in a row champion. Three times in a row champion. Like, he was an animal yes. when it came to strongman. Yes. He, he still looks super strong. In your last video on YouTube, all the lifts that he did, he actually did 453 or 54 kg deadlift. And it was like as easy as it was 413 for him, you know? It was the easiest looking 1,000 pound deadlift I think I've ever seen. It was it was very easy for him. He, he looks in very good shape. I thought he won't be able to get in shape for this Arnold Classic. I thought he might be in better shape by the end of the year, but I I have to I have to change my mind at, at this point. It's like he's only 20 kilos off his world record. Yeah, which was on that a 10 foot long elephant bar, and he was like literally in the best shape of his life pretty much in that competition. Yeah, he was the strongest he was he's ever been at his heaviest as well. So now he's not even, I don't think that he's that close to being at his heaviest. What do you think? Probably 15 kilos difference from what he was heaviest? About 15 kilos. Yeah. So yeah, he's probably close to 190. One, yeah. So 190 kilos. Yeah. I think at his heaviest, he was 207 or 208. So, so his deadlift is so good. I don't think that anyone can touch him in a deadlift. I don't think so. Some people might speculate that Mitch Hooper my challenge tour for the deadlift but last year he didn't even win deadlift no so he was second he was second uh bobby thompson he won that but uh, from the way it looks like tour will be pulling more than 460. so mitchell hooper and bobby thompson two of them didn't even break a thousand pounds last year yeah and we have say after julius barnson one month out pulling a thousand pounds easy easy and he said that he has another heavy session ahead one thousand pounds right yes sir and i have still one more heavy that decision left another uh, heavy session before the iron classic so i don't know will he try to like take it easy and don't try to pull it heavier but if he has one so i don't know what what's the limit like what, what he has to pull 416 and 465 <laughs> i don't know but the thing you is know? like 474.5 kilos yeah. is his record I seriously, I genuinely think at this moment in time, he's going to get very close to it, if not even break it. Yeah. Like, it's very possible for him to break it. It's possible because he knows how to peak as well. He's usually coming in in competition heavier, let's say, the, than whatever he does a week into the competition. It seems like he really boots, boosts his body and he comes in like even 5 or 10 kilos, sometimes heavier than he would be a week before. Like you've you've competed with him many times. Yeah, you like I'd say it's like you see him in the video. It's like oh, he's like he's in good, great shape. And then when you see him in person, it's like uh, in a week, what <laughs> happened to you? He's like so much bigger and everything. Like you know, so so on the day he might break his own world record. Yeah, because you've said yourself many a time. Like you as a strongman competing, like your training lift say it could be four hundred kilos. Yeah, the day of the competition, you're you're going to deadlift four twenty. Yes, but it's it, it, it that, depends on an athlete. Yeah, yes. that's you. Some athletes they can do so much better in the gyms and then come to competition, nerves kick in and they just they, yeah they, they can't do nothing. Like you know, the, the lifts are down by a good bit. But with Thor, he will mo all most of the times he pulling more in the competition than he pull in training. So. Uh, I can see Thor beating his own uh, world record, actually, which is to me really surprising. I think it's surprising to him as well that he was able to get in in, in shape so quickly. I know he said he struggled with his prep. He says he had a couple of setbacks. He says probably due, due to his age, but nevertheless, in his in this last video, he looks like nine months. Yeah, post like injury. Yeah, like, nine months. Like it's not even been a full year. And he's gone from, say, wanting to break the raw powerlifting record to nearly stepping on the heaviest strongman stage there is. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's hard to believe that like anyone could do it. But when you see Haftar, like he's he's an athlete. Like he's yeah. he's a, like he's a machine. He's a freak. He is a freak. Yes. And it's like even when you see the other say events that he's doing, like we've seen most recently, like he's put up <clears> the medley <throat> event. Say he's yeah. been training for the Arnold now. Obviously, he's a lot heavier than what he was for, what, the last two, maybe three years. So yeah. it's, it's a change for the body. But I still think 
that he's well able he's well able to hold that weight because he's done it for years and years mm. and years and I think we're going to see a Hafter Bjornsson that I don't think we've ever seen yeah I think he will be in, I, I again I'll c- repeat myself I thought he will be top five but by watching from watching the last his video I think he can win it I really I really do and uh, if he doesn't make any mistakes and he said this self, uh, at the end of the video he says if I if nobody nobody will be able to afford to make any mistakes because the, the, the lineup is so good if you make Stats. a mistake that's it you're pretty much done you have no chance of winning the Arnold Classic and uh, if he doesn't make any mistakes he can win it and I think like you were saying there you cannot make a mistake no you can't make a mistake when it comes to the Arnold Strongman Classic we've seen it like multiple multiple times with Mateusz Kuliskowski mm-hmm. because of his deadlift he can't win the competition making sure you don't do any mistakes throughout the whole two days one one small mistake is gonna take you out of the podium easily and take and, and one small mistake will uh, and, and you won't you won't win the win the um, um, title because it's a two-day competition five events like if you finish like below mid table in one event I don't think you'll ever catch the points. No, back. it's impossible to catch it. You have to be top five or even top three at every single event. You know, it's very hard to achieve that. But in order for you to win it, you kind of, you, you have to be within these points. So this is a video we had to make just because of the 454 kilos, like a month, a month out from the competition. It's, it's hard to get, like, it's hard to get my head wrapped around yeah. it. Like only 20 kilos off his like personal best. He's already after break and last year's what 447 kilos that bobby thompson did so like ease with ease Mm -hmm. so he's already after winning the deadlift over last year like great to see the return of after bjornsson i think you're after making a very bold statement (laughs) you think he's going to win the whole Uh, thing i think he can win i I truly after watching his training session i truly believe that he he was worried about his shoulders he said it in a video that after the pec tear he thought he's not going to be uh, as good in pressing and stuff, but his pressing has come along as well. So if he doesn't lose a lot of points in pressing, it's possible. It's very possible. Yes. So let us know in the comment section down below what you think at home. Do you think after Julius Bjornsson is going to walk away with the show? Do you think he'll win it? Do you think he'll be close or will he even win it at all? I genuinely think, I think we can call the deadlift off. I think he's after winning that. Yes. As long as he stays healthy, I yeah. think it's just a four event competition. Yeah, I, I, I can't see anyone uh, beating him in the deadlift. No, not, I, not even Hooper, not Tom Stoltman. Uh, I don't know. I think it's Even outreach. Martins, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Consider even, Martins yeah. did, what, 425? Yeah. And he kind of struggled with it. Yeah. I genuinely think it's a four-event competition. Either way, let us know in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear your predictions if you have an early prediction for a winner. Either way, let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to press the like button. If you're new to the channel, please press the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, make sure to press the bell icon. It'll keep you up to date with everything the Slalish Brothers. We'll see you in another video. See you later, guys.